We're going to step to one side of the mat, turn to our support here, raise your arms up, and all we're going to do is sink back into our chair pose. Then we're going to walk forwards to our plank again. We're going to put everything together. Walk forwards to your plank pose, modify it, leave your knees down if you want to. Okay, so from here I'll show you from the behind. We're going to step the feet a little bit wider. Okay, then I'm going to tap one foot outside, come through center, tap the other foot, center. That's all we're doing. Tapping one foot outside, center, and the other, center. Keep going. Tap five, center, four, center, three, center, two, center, and one, center. Knees down. Let's have a break and press back to a child's pose. Lovely. And then we're going to walk our hands in, come up through all fours, curl your toes under. I don't want to drop your head at the moment, so keep your head just in line with the floor and roll your spine up, rolling your spine up. Good. We're going to step our feet wide and parallel. Okay, then we're going to come to the bar after this little exercise, but just one more. We bend into the left knee. As we step in, we're going to lift the left toes. So we step out, get the chest low, get down, 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 good. And lift the toe to come up. We lunge and lift, circling the arms. Can you ground that left heel? Make sure you're pushing the floor away. Good, move your body as much as you can. That's it, five more. Lift and four, lift. Good, three, lovely, two. This last one, we're going to step in. We're going to step in and hold, hands to your hips. Your left leg is going to reach behind you, your left leg, the one that was stepping out. Okay, we're going to lean forwards into our right leg and lift your left behind you. Bend it in half, squeeze, extend the left, and bend, and extend. And then you can always use a surface to rest your fingers on if your balance is a little bit odd today. We bend, extend, and bend, extend. Now relax your arms, flex your foot as you lean forwards. We're going to push an imaginary person away with our left leg. Then press through the heel for five and four and three and two. Step your left leg back behind you on one. Good. Now realign your feet so one foot is in front of each hip. We don't want to be crossed, we want to be up fair with our weight. Okay, as you bend your left knee towards the floor, release and bend, release and bend. Good, stand nice and tall over your pelvis. Try not to lean forwards, go straight down the middle. For four and press and three and press and two and press. One hold, hands to your hips. What we're going to do is we're going to lift, drop, hold, centre. Lift, drop, hold, centre. Lift, drop, hold, centre. Oh, I'm getting sweaty. Lift, <laughs> drop, hold, centre. Lift, drop, hold, centre. And lift, drop, hold, centre. Turn your right toes out. Step your left foot behind into a curtsy. Now from here, lean forwards into your right buttock here and you'll feel it, little pulses here. So you're really leaning into that right leg. Get low, get low. Access this right glute for five. Take a rest if you want to for three, two, and one. Back to a wide leg pose. I want you to get really deep down into that right leg. Chest almost parallel to the floor. Now you push the floor away to step in. So we lunge, push, and lunge, push. Take a wider step. Yeah, the wider the better. Lift and bend. Good, deeper breaths. <sighs> Lovely, use the floor. You yield to it, and then you push it away. Four more, and three. Nice guys, two, I can see you, and one, hold it here, hands onto your hips, your right leg is behind you, left leg bent, we angle our body forwards, balance into the standing leg, 
We bend, extend the leg, bend, extend, squeeze that hamstring. Lean forwards, guys. If you fall, you fall, right? You won't be too far. <laughs> Five more. And four. And three. Drop your arms. Two. Extend the leg now. You're going to push an imaginary person away through the heel. Bend, press. Bend, press. Bend, press. Bend, press. Last four. Three. Two. Carefully step that leg back on one. Again, find your balance, realign your legs. Lunge, release, and lunge, release. Straight through the center. Push down through your front heel. Yeah, your left heel. Good, last two. Hold it down here, one. We're low. We're gonna lower, lift, center. Lower, lift, center. Lower, lift, center. Lower, lift, center center, low, lift, center, hold, turn your left heel in, step your right foot behind, back through the center, and we're going to lean forwards, we want to keep the angle forwards, and pulse into the legs, watch this left knee, the left knee tracks your foot, okay, little pulses here, keep leaning forwards, even further, can you get lower, five, four, go three, four, two, and one, release have a little break circle the legs a little bit let me check the time Ooh, good okay lovely okay now we're gonna take one little plank version a little bit further now we've done some twists elbow to knee type stuff all we're gonna do look first if you want to I'm gonna take one elbow towards opposite knee so it's just a different variation to what we've just done and again, is really carving out your obliques. Now, if this doesn't work for you, you come to all fours, just take one knee towards opposite elbow or through the center. And you have loads of variations you could do here, okay? So you can always do this in all fours if that's what you're modifying. Otherwise, come with me to a plank, little plank version here. And all you're doing is turning your body one side Elbow to knee, connects, and then the other. Good. Remember, in all fours, you can do the same thing. Turn towards that knee. Good. And again, this is however fast or slow you want to go today. Elbow to knee, let's go eight more. Seven and six, really carving out the back. And the abs, four more. And three and two, and one. Release the knees down. Roll the shoulders. Just sink your hips to your left. So, so we kind of come into a z-sit. Take hold of your right ankle, reach your left arm up, and have a lovely stretch of that side. Breathe, inhale here, and exhale, release. Come through the center, just swing your hips out to the right. Take hold of your top ankle and this stops you falling, right? So you can really use this arm. Reach up to the sky, breathe in, and exhale, gentle lean over to one side. Use these moments to breathe deeply through all this action. Good, lovely. Now, last little thing before we slow it down. Now, different versions here. If you want to come to a little bar burpee, you step one leg back, step the other one forwards, stand. One leg back, other one forwards, either one. It doesn't matter as long as you're stepping back and coming to stand in between. Up, oh, I'm going to take a little jump back, jump forwards. Take a little leap. Yeah, everyone's coming with me. Perfect, let's go for it. Here we go. Jump back. I'm not gonna be talking too much throughout this. <laughs> Good. Whoop. Lovely. Good, Whoop. Let's do five more. I think I overestimated myself. Four more. And three. Two. And one. Stand with your 
left hand on the bar, I think. So you're facing towards me, either one, doesn't really matter. Okay. So to start with, we've got a tiny piece of pie between the toes, not too open, not completely closed. Okay, and all we're gonna do, like we did in the beginning, send the leg forwards, foot to the floor, backwards, foot to the floor, lift, slide it down, behind, slide it forward. We lift together, behind, together. We lift together, if you want to use the arms, feel free, together, behind, together. We lift, center, back, center. You bend your standing leg just a little bit as you take the leg behind. So it's lift, center, back, center, lift, center, back, center. Keep going, lift, center, back, center, and lift, center, back, center. Bend both knees. Your outer leg is gonna go behind you into a curtsy. You take my surface forward. So we're in a little curtsy, okay? We're gonna send the leg to the side, in front, to the side, and out, to the side, in front, it's externally rotated, <clears throat> so try not to let the knee come forwards. Push it out here. Arm reaches with you, reaches with you. So arm, chest nice and open, and ideally you're feeling this in your glute here because you're turning your knee out. And back, good, and forwards. Lovely, hold it back here. Now we're gonna step into a plie. This is narrow. For me right but I want it narrow because I'm going to try and lift my um, outer thigh up to bring the feet together slightly facing into the bar okay I like to hold this to start with we're going to lift the knee up wide plie lift the knee up as high as you can to bring it in inner thighs lift plie lift together if you want to challenge your balance come with me and hold your elbows Remember, it's a plie, not a squat, okay? Try not to lean forwards, inner thighs, and in, and lift, and in. We wanna circle that knee as much as we can, using the inner thigh, two more, and lift. Let's hold that plie on one. Good, if you're close enough to your bar, take hold of it, step wider, see if you can get your thighs almost parallel to the floor. And we're going to do tiny little pulses, tiny little ones. Good, lovely, good. Now from here, as our outer arm reaches overhead, I'm going to flip the palm towards the wall. So I just flipped it, and I'm going to push on that imaginary wall as I pulse. So I turn my fingers down for six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Release, come back to that little curtsy. So the shin is behind this plank. We're gonna put everything together. So we're gonna take a, a, a plie, lift the leg, plie, curtsy. Plie, lift, plie, curtsy. Plie, lift, plie. Now this one, you let yourself be pretty free, okay? Yeah, really kick the leg, good, lift. Plie, curtsy, plie, lift, good, one more here, plie, lift, and plie, curtsy, release, have a little shake out with the legs, straight away, and take it to the other side, so take your surface to the other side, stand with your toes just a little bit open, and this time we're going to lift the heels to just kitten heel, so your lowest heel, and a softening of the knees, now remember, we don't want to stick the butt out here. We don't need to. We want to tuck it under and use these muscles. Okay, so we're in this little bent leg position. If you want to come with me, hands to prayer. And all we're doing is little pulses here. Now you can be right down here if you want to, if that's where you're working. Push your heels together. Squeeze a piece of paper between your butt cheeks. Good. So a little kitten heel here. Push your heels further together and you'll really feel those glutes activate here. For six and five 
and four. Oh, my thighs are hurting too. And one, lower the heels, holding onto your surface. We're going to lift the leg forwards, heels together, back, heels together. Forwards, heels, back, heels, lift, heels. Now remember your arm, right? We want to, we want to work the arm as well. So lift your elbow out and up. That's it. Lift together, reach together and lift together, reach together. Good. Lift together, reach. Last one. And lift together behind, reach together. We take our little curtsy. Okay. Standing toes turned out. We reach out and forwards, out behind. Knee turns to the side. Standing leg working and lifted leg working and lift and out and lift. Turn the toes sideways, lift and out. Stay with it. So all that heat that we've developed is allowing us to get a little bit more flexible. Good. Last two. Last one. Here we step into our narrow plie. Not too wide. I'm going to hold my surface because I know this is my weaker side. I want to lift the knee all the way in, slightly turn towards my bar, then open the knee up into a plie. Lift the knee, working inner thighs, and out. And then as time goes on, you might want to warm up, really lift the knee. It's all about lifting the knee. Don't think of the end result. Think about the transition here. Your inner thigh is working. Good. Don't step too heavily like I do. I sound like an elephant. <laughs> oh, three more. God, really lift that knee. Let me see it. Two more. Yes. Lovely. Good. We're going to step wide. We're going to step wide now into our plie. I like to hold my surface. Get low into the thighs here. Remember, we're not leaning forwards. We're standing over our pelvis here. Good. So from here, we're going to step into our little curtsy. Put it together. We take a plie, lift, plie and curtsy. Plie, lift, plie, curtsy. Plie and lift, plie, curtsy. Really nice, guys. I can see you. Oh, <laughs> fling the leg a little bit higher. Three more. Lift. And two more. Step wide. Lift. And last one, Why? lift, curtsy to finish. And we're just going to step into our tennis shoe bar. And we're going to step back so we've got our right angle pose in our body, just to release and stretch. I like to press down on my bar so that the chest doesn't sink. Push it down and you get a long, long spine here. Good. Now step your feet a little bit closer together, step one foot forwards, flex the heel and push your butt back behind you. Let's stretch into the calf. Breathe deeply. Good. As you step forwards into that front leg, hold your back foot towards your butt. So we're stretching through the uh, quad. If you want to come with me, and you do fancy going a little bit renegade, gently come into a little dancer pose if you want to. Focus your eyes, level your hips, and slow your breath down, because the hard work is done for the moment. And we release. Good. So you sink your hips back again. Gently take the other foot forwards, stretching into the calf. And breathe. Really important to find the breath here. Good. Really let the work that you've done start to ferment in your body. Step forwards into that foot. Back foot is kind of glued to your buttock there. Shoulders down your back. I like to take inside the foot sometimes. That's just how I choose to do it. And kick the leg back behind me. If you're coming into a little dancer pose. Now this side is super tight for me. 
and slowly exhale. We're just going to remove our surface, remove our bar. I'm just going to angle the uh, computer down a little bit there. Okay. We're going to come down onto our mats. We're going to come down onto our mats. And just for a moment, let's take the soles of the feet together. Okay, and grab around the toe edges of the feet, if it's available, or your ankles. We're going to sit tall, sit nice and tall. Now your legs, try to avoid this, right? Your knees are in a really um, sensitive position. Instead, focus on letting your hips go. Like your legs have just gone woof. So use gravity, just allow yourself to sit with this for a couple of breaths, breathe your spine long, and just allow all the heat of your body to reach every part of it, fingers, toes. And then as we gently release that, we're going to take a right leg out to our right side a bit. Left foot inside right thigh or wherever it feels comfortable for you. Okay, we're going to turn our body towards that right leg. Lift the chest up, breathe in. And we walk down the right leg. Okay. I like to keep my fingertips on the floor here, otherwise my chest turns. See if we can get that chest down level with the floor. And if you're up here, totally okay. But try not to round to reach the foot. We want to encourage a long spine, right? Yeah, there you go, good, really nice. Good, now just breathe those, you will be left ribs, down towards your right leg a little bit. Breathe in. And exhale, slowly release through the center. Take it the other side. We're going to lift our ribs and turn. So our whole body is twisting. Then give it a little walk down over the legs. Good. Keep rolling your right ribs towards your left leg. Lovely. Good. Now breathe your chest forwards. And slowly from here, release. Now on our mats, we want to stretch into the hamstring. So very traditional, low lunge here. Low lunge, one leg forward, doesn't matter which one. That's it. Good. Now our tendency is that our body will want to lean onto the leg. See if you can almost push the leg away and sink the hips forwards. So you're really lengthening into the hip flexor and psoas. If you want to, you can raise the arms up. And a long breath here is super, super nice. Imagine I'm pulling your arms up, your ribs up to the sky. And release the hands down to the earth. Your, uh, where your front foot is, that same arm is gonna raise up to the sky. Yeah, so you're twisting towards your knee. Optional, you can curl the back toes under, lift the back knee away from the floor if that's where you're working. Deep breath in. Exhale, release. Carefully step back to all fours, hands and knees. Let's just give our, little, our spine a little kind of easy out here. Nice and loose, not too fast. Just Explore your spine, any tight places, before you step the other leg forwards. So just other leg forwards, low lunge. Good. And again, press your body away from that leg. Good. Navel drawn in, pelvic floor is lifted, and that energy is just going to drive up through your body and expand in all directions, both feet, both hands, heart, eyes, breathe in 
and release the hands down again. If you want to, turn towards the knee. You may want to lift the back thigh away from the floor for a lovely easy twist. Now the exhale here is super important, so we want to breathe out and turn. Good. And release. Push up to all fours. Let's end with a lovely little down dog. Have a little pad through the feet in your downward facing dog. And then slowly walk the hands towards your, uh, sorry, walk the feet towards your hands and roll up through your spine, bone by bone by bone to stand. 